guys. Yeah, I'm gonna weigh myself right now and we're gonna weigh in together, okay? Nothing really has gonna change too much from the last video that was only like a week and a half ago. Um, and I've been hovering in the 113 range, so it's probably gonna be somewhere there, but hey, we'll check together, why not, you know? Okay, 113.9, that is a spike up, which is obviously annoying. I was 113.8 when I woke up yesterday and 113.4 after the gym, and I was 113.1 a few days ago. So this is another thing for anybody going through a journey. Please understand you are going to fluctuate, you are going to plateau. If you have a sugary coffee and you're not eating a lot of sugar on a day-to-day -day basis, your body's gonna spike up, but it's probably just water weight, it's not actual weight, there's no way for you to like gain. There's no way for me to actually have gained like 0.5 pounds of fat from what I ate yesterday. So we'll see what I am after the gym. I'll probably be like 113.5. I'm in a little plateau right now and that's okay. I don't think it's gonna last very long. I can say my time of the month is coming any minute now. So it also could be that because fluctuations before your period will definitely spike up. Like you're not gonna just consistently lose in your period. So I do feel like that's coming. Like I'm looking at my stomach right now and I'm like, oh, it looks so good. I mean, we're looking good. I'm feeling confident. I'm not bloated. I'm starting to fit into my smaller pants again because I'm about the size that I was at my smallest. I was a pound lower at my smallest, but I will get there. face I get to see every time I come home. Oh, look at that face. Oh, you like the rose right there? Is it nice? We have so many nicknames for her, you guys. I have to go through the list at some point. It's hilarious. Callie May, June, July, August. Callers, Master May, Magic May, Medic May. For when you need Callie love. Bounty Hunter May, Cheddar May, Meat Patty May. <laughs> we forget these and we open this up all the time and we just start cracking up. Cherry Turnover, Lake May, when she does giant peas. Snaggletooth May, you saw the reason for that. Kelly Perry, because that's gonna be all of our last names. Moons Over My Ham May. <laughs> Cinnamon, Amelia Mayheart, that was my favorite one, oh my god. Aunt Jemima, <laughs> that was my other favorite one. Neighborhood Watch, May Corazon, Latina May! I forget why we did that one, <laughs> but it works. And then all of these, oh, 15 pound sandbag. You don't even understand how much we love this girl. She will be in every vlog. She is the love of my freaking life. You don't even understand. I just got back from the gym. That was a really good workout. I burned like 360 calories. Broke a little bit of a sweat today, not too crazy. So I'm gonna weigh myself now. We're gonna see if the scale went down. Okay, this is my second weigh in. I am going to weigh myself. I have nothing on, so I cannot show myself. 112.8. So today is October 8th. 2024 and I am 112.8 pounds and I was bigger than that I just refused to record it and I was bigger than that at some point that I didn't even know about because I wasn't weighing myself So I was probably more like 125 to 127. I'm not even gonna lie The 123.9 was on my other scale you can kind of see where that is for my height But BMI BMI was on high at some point like that's how quick it can go down with just even like 10 pounds when you're in like a healthy range and there should be more deep details but I guess it's not showing up right now but yeah so now it is like 11 a.m. I am done showering of course I have my coffee you guys I'm so excited what do you mean 112 pounds it's kind of crazy it's exciting does the world change when you get to your goal weight no it's just interesting you just have to love yourself regardless I looked at myself in the mirror today after I saw that and I stopped vlogging and I was like, I love you. You did that. And I looked myself in the eye in the mirror and it was therapeutic. You have to tell yourself you love yourself more and that you're proud of yourself more and really mean it. Like look at yourself and be like, I know it feels cheesy and like you feel like that's the stuff you see in movies and stuff, but like no. It was so nice to like talk to myself. <laughs> 
just have to say and give myself positive beautiful affirmations you're all beautiful no matter what the scale is not important for me i've been through a lot of trauma in my life having to do with my weight and i am ready to kick that to the curb and say no more is my body going to control how i feel about myself how much i love myself what i do to myself physically aka dyeing my hair or getting tattoos those things i feel like a lot of those things that i used to do like crazy back in the day came from a place of unhappiness with my body crazy 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 i am in actual awe right now you guys i made i'm actually gonna cry it tastes so good i made a cold brew coffee protein ice cream the ingredients are the skim fair life milk a little bit of greek yogurt a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup for sweetener one scoop of cold brew protein powder one scoop of vanilla protein powder a little bit of vanilla extract and you have to add the coffee and so i added like a good amount of decaf coffee in there probably like two scoops worth in water this is the best one i've ever made this tastes better than my morning coffee and it's full of protein it's low calorie you have to be joking me right now i got decaf on purpose so that i wouldn't have like a bunch of caffeine in my ice cream you know the cold brew protein powder does have a little bit so i wanted to eat it earlier in the day but usually i'd be eating this for dinner but i think tonight seb is gonna go out and grill chicken so i'm gonna have chicken tonight so i'll have this for like a late snack kind of and then i'll have the chicken for dinner this is so good i'm literally flabbergasted right now i can't even tell you how happy i am i got the ninja creamy run and get the ninja creamy right now seb just got back with the groceries this is everything i got this is like a standard re-up in my house of healthy groceries this is pretty much everything i eat on a daily basis i like to eat the same thing pretty much every day so we'll start over here i got a bunch of my fairlife skim milk oikos triple zero yogurts are so good the mixed berry i mix it with my regular plain greek yogurt just so it has a little flavor I do like half and half and then i add chia pudding and i add strawberries that's what i eat like every day for a snack we have strawberries three cans of good culture cottage cheese this is the low fat one it's my favorite it's so good i have to have like three or four cans at all times this is one of my coffee creamers the zero sugar pumpkin spice bananas we have two of the toasted marshmallow nut pods this is like the best nut pod flavor to be honest this is my sugar-free vanilla creamer have to have that it's very important for the ninja creamy and for my morning coffee very very important i got two unsweetened oatlies two pitted majority jewel dates sorry for the lighting in here is like terrible right now i got this almond butter it's my favorite maranatha almond butter four different vital farms pasture raised eggs cartons six cans of the three bean blend from target sugar-free maple syrup i have to have sugar-free maple syrup as like my sweetener for stuff and then i got one of these i tried the strawberry matcha and it was good but i'm really interested to try the vanilla matcha i feel like it's going to be good whenever i want like a drinky drink extra hershey's unsweetened cacao powder this is a necessity honestly it's 10 calories per tablespoon zero grams of sugar but it'll make everything super chocolatey so i put that in my ice cream i make healthy brownies with it it is is a non-negotiable i got pure vanilla extract bunch of sugar-free jellos this one is white chocolate i have a cheesecake and i have a big chocolate one family size four tubs of chobani greek yogurt the plain non-fat version this is my favorite i eat it every single day put it in my ice cream i put it in my chia pudding i put it in a ton of stuff like this is so important you can put it in so many protein recipes like this goes in protein brownies this goes in healthy protein garlic naan bread if you ever want the recipe for that so easy you just mix like yogurt and flour and you literally have like a healthy protein bread and then you can add minced garlic to it it's insane three of these roasted sweet potatoes steam in bag i love these i I eat these like crazy with sriracha and light mayo the best more chia seeds because i eat this every single day brussels sprouts they said they didn't have these available and i was so sad but they did and they gave it to me anyway four avocados i got two butternut squash more brussels sprouts and then these are the kind bars that i am so obsessed with right now i've been eating these for like over a month straight like almost every day i have one of these instead of like a fair bells bar or quest bar sugar-free whatever i tend to eat these and they are so good it's actually insane and there's only five grams of sugar in a bar the dark chocolate sea salt is also my favorite so i just switch each day one day i have this flavor and then the next day i have the other flavor so i have like a change of pace it is so good i'm not kidding these are the best things i've ever had in my entire life and i will like never go back to those like quest protein bars it's just not the vibe it's just not the vibe gotta have my juan valdez coffee that's down there this is the stuff i pretty much eat every single day of my life 
plus chicken. We need to get grilled chicken and we have some. Seb's gonna go grill it tonight. So we're gonna have chicken thighs tonight. So literally this plus any kind of chicken is my vibe. Thank you. 